Hi, my name is Ken Goodman, author of the Emitophobia Manual. Emitophobia is a disorder that is virtually unheard of, and when people do learn about it, they usually respond by saying, well, no one likes to throw up. They just don't get it. People don't understand how terrifying it is and how it can disrupt your entire life. Not only does it cause intense anxiety, it can cause you to miss out on some of life's greatest joys and make daily tasks a struggle. It can seize control of your eating, what you touch, and where you want to go but can't. The fear of vomit usually starts in childhood, and as it progresses, you might find yourself in a self-imposed prison, trapped by constant worry and intense physical symptoms. There is good news, however. I'm happy to tell you there is a way out. When I wrote this book, there were almost no resources for people with emetophobia. Slowly over the years, other books have been written and entire communities have been formed on Facebook and TikTok. Unfortunately, there are very few therapists who treat emetophobia. In fact, most have never even heard of it. Since writing the emetophobia manual and hearing from so many wonderful people asking for help, I knew I needed to do more. I decided to create a 10-week workshop. It is essentially the emetophobia manual on steroids each session is 60 to 90 minutes and takes you step by step from the land of misery to the land of freedom. You'll be joined by eight people from different countries, England, Ireland, Canada, and the United States. From a 20-year-old medical student to a 42-year-old mom of two, you will watch their journey unfold during the most challenging time of year, autumn, when the stomach flu is most prevalent. And you will be taking the journey with them, not as a passenger along for the ride, you will be participating in the experience, learning the tools and strategies as they learn them, taking notes, joining in on the exercises, and doing the homework from week to week. You will hear their struggles and successes, their questions and my answers. You might just feel like you're a part of the group. And what's even better is you can replay the sections you wanna see again and watch the entire workshop as much as you desire. Over the course of 11 sessions, I will introduce you to several people who have conquered emetophobia, including Dara Lovitz, who wrote Gag Reflections. You can preview the workshop on my website, theemetophobiamanual.com. Until then, here is a short sample of what you will see and experience. I am so excited to take you on this journey, this 10-week workshop. When you have a kid and you don't know if it's contagious and you have to be there, it's like being locked in a box Oh, like, what if I throw up? What if I'm like freaking, what if I'm just freaking out and no one can talk me out, you know? Usually I just cry in the shower um, a lot. And then I'm like, I don't eat for a week because I'm so scared. Biggest obstacle for me is probably planes. If I like touch the fridge, I'll then wash my hands again. You're starting this workshop the beginning of October. This is the beginning of flu season. You win this game move by move, moment by moment you will eventually reach that land of freedom. I've had loads of different therapists and every therapy you could think of, and this is the only thing that makes a lot more sense than all of the other ones. Flying from London over to Washington, D.C. I usually won't eat about a day before, and then I definitely won't eat on the flight. So here she is having a huge exposure This is the moment that I surprise my boyfriends. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta go. <laughs> he just kept asking how I got there. <laughs> I just feel hopeful because I can see already that it it is starting to work. Nowhere for me to wash my hands. It was like market food, which I would never normally eat, but I did. Let's watch you consume this. Dinner. I think it's been really nice to see Kevin's mindset from the first group to now, because at the start, it, you seem very skeptical and like, I don't think this is going to work. I, I feel very hopeless in it. It's just, I feel like it's just because of the years I've struggled with it. I thought it was going to be, I, at first I was like, this is corny as hell. But then actually I did it 
Um, it was kind of like emotional. I haven't had burger in, in 12 years. Uh, so I went to Wendy's and, and had like half a junior cheeseburger. Excellent job. More of a science than people think. Um, and this is like the class you have to take to kind of cure yourself a bit. 10 weeks went by so fast. <laughs> I feel hopeful. I'm doing things I've never done before. He said that he had a tummy ache. He thought he was going to throw up. I just looked at his eyes and then I said, Griffin, I'm right here if you need me. And just that, saying that, I felt like I could do anything. And I said, okay, so if you have to throw up, you throw up in this garbage can and make sure you get it in there. And we both laughed. He needed me to be there for him. I was like, holy shit. I might actually get over this someday. It makes me a little emotional thinking about like being able to say you're there for them because that's what I've not been able to do. Alana. I want to give Alana a hug a little bit. Just yeah. <laughs> I've wanted to hug all of you. I feel like I wish we could all be in one room together and just like hug each other, <laughs> wash our hands and then hug each other. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like having a group of people who truly understand what you know we're going through um, was just exciting and it makes me emotional to say bye. Once you have watched and participated in the recorded workshop, you will then have options. You can watch it again and work on your own, or you can reach out for additional help. You can join one of my live 10-week coaching groups or participate in a live hour-long consultation group. You can also obtain private one-on-one -on -one coaching. All of these options are with me and over secure video online. You can conquer emetophobia. The work is challenging and takes courage, but it is not complicated. It's simple once you understand the strategy. The initial steps are scary. In fact, the first one is the scariest. But guess what? By watching this video, you've already taken it. Now you just have to take the next one. The good news is it's all at your pace. You are driving the bus. You're in charge. I'm just the emetophobia coach in the passenger seat guiding you. And I sincerely hope you join me.